Hello, everybody. I think we're ready to get started. So let's chat for a little bit. We're nearing the end of the game. I'm not sure how much we have content-wise left. I don't know if we'll complete all the side quests. Or if we found all the side quests, to be honest. But I guess we'll keep exploring to see what we found. I believe we did not do the Water Continents Dragon yet. And I'm tempted to try out some of the special moves again to see if maybe I was sleeping on any. But honestly, most of them seem kind of disappointing. Like they just weren't unblockable or they had a big startup time. I think the only one I liked so far was maybe like the Leaping Axe Strike, maybe. And um, probably the Dagger Uppercut. So maybe, maybe against the dragon I can experiment with the sword. See if there's something that feels better now that we have more comfortability with the game. And I'm going to try one additional thing too to see if it buffers an input with uh, dashing in. So like normally I can hit R1 and double tap for example. Uh, I'm wondering if during that double tap, if I double tap and immediately input an attack, if it'll remember it until it's able to perform. Because if so, that would make the attack slightly more useful. Because that means I could also backdash and then like punish with like the leaping axe strike, for example. Or I could like double tap in and get an uppercut after I do a run attack with the daggers. So I think that's the last little bit of combat I'm going to try to explore to see if it makes the game more fun. But if it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do anything. We have enough to beat the game for the most part. Not super worried about it. So we'll begin in just a moment. Let's go ahead and pause the soundtrack. Yeah, because if it allows buffered dash attacks, is I, I I'm trying to think of like what things I'm not thinking of from fighting games. Um, that that would make the combat feel a little better. Just a little bit. Oh. Apparently, my stream deck is not set up to go to the right one. I'll have to fix that later. One second. No. No. I'll find it eventually. It's in here somewhere. No. There we go. I wonder if because the name changed, it didn't like it. Let me fix that for the future, because that'll drive me crazy. a little bit of house keeping I guess while I'm here now let's go into the game itself oh, the pause it gets me every time the the just no music I'm just like did I mess it up so I believe we went to the yeah we went to the church we have a hilarious amount of MP. We have enough healing to basically beat the game. I, I mean, like, I, there, at no point do I need any more. If I happen to get more, I get more. I doubt I'll get extra gold bars unless I'm specifically farming, which I don't really plan to do. So that's probably the last of the merchant upgrades we'll get, sadly. I just don't think the time spent will be and will be worth it, sadly. You know, extra gold bars. Too bad, Calvisham. Find your own Calvisham. Hopefully, you're doing well. There's two exits to this room. Let's save here. Hopefully you've been enjoying East 7. 
Ruins B1. Ooh, moving platforms. Ooh. Uh, I remember which one was the menu. I'm more impressed than you think. I always forget what it's called. Now this should be the translator spell. It's really fun. Good to hear. Stranger to the land, proceed clockwise. You must complete the circle, then touch the pedestal. Touch the pedestal. Well, we did that out of order. It said clockwise, so I'm gonna just walk clockwise. Oh, missed the platform. At least I can't fall off and take damage. Guess there's that. I just hold forward. Slow platform. What a troll. Glad you're finding it fun. I was watching you do some of the bosses and I'm like, oh, I remember those. I, I had to do one of those more than once. Mmm. I'm like, hello, chicken difficulty spike. Big Bird has had enough. It's his place now. Time flows faster than you may think and many memories have been washed away. But now darkness has come and may envelop the future. Who can turn this, dar this darkness to light? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, so everything in the room has flipped. It is sealed. Apparently it is sealed. Ruins B1. We return yet again. Oh wait, hold on. If it's opposite, it would be at the bottom, right? One. Platforms. Oh wait, seriously? This is still- Wait, the path in here is the same? Just that one room is flipped? Oh, that sucks. I don't think I had to go this way. Man, I got baited. Why was the other room flipped but this one isn't? Did you just literally reuse the same room? I hate you so much. There's a message. Well, translate it then, stupid. Why do I have to do this? Is it gonna be, walk backwards and you can undo the ravages of time? Let's see what it says. The stream flows one way, but at times it is necessary to oppose the stream. That's pretty close. So we'll go counterclockwise. So I just did this, which is annoying. Oh well. Hold forward and win, I guess. I'm glad the game has been fun so far. I know, for Calvation, whenever I block, I'm just gonna go guard, 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 guard. <laughs> just parry for like 50 years. There we go. Yeah, I think what ends up making some of those bosses harder than it should be is just the AI doesn't block. So you often have, like, only one character's worth of health to deal with the boss. And I think the big bird fight really emphasized that in particular. Travel to the past and find your challenge. What it... What do you mean? Wait, did did that did me not wa wait, the screen went blue and this didn't count? Unless it unless I just have to go Wait, why didn't that just immediately end it? Did I have to like go in here or something dumb? Why didn't why didn't that count? 
That sucks. <sighs> I'm confused. I went counterclockwise. What did you want from me, game, if that's not what you wanted? Make sure my music stuff is out of the way so I can see the screen better. Okay. I mean, I'll use more MP, but like, I did this already, so I don't know why you're making me do this again. Was something supposed to happen, and it just didn't? Welcome to Parameter. Like, I just did this. doing well in parameter I absolutely crushed that 60 damage challenge in like one try it took infinitely less time than the other one and in the past must be resolved through the passage of time oh oh now now you're gonna Continue with the dialogue. I'm pretty sure that was a bug chat. I am fairly certain we just witnessed a bug. I think it was supposed to teleport me the first time into this cutscene and it didn't. It also didn't flash green this time. But even then, like, I didn't do anything all that different. I went counterclockwise and then talked to the statue or the pedestal again. Whatever. At least we're advancing. Over time, the light has triumphed over darkness. Alright, uh, give me one second. Take something for allergies. I feel a bit of congestion today. Yeah, allies not attacking in uh, E7 can get kind of annoying. I don't think there were, like, too many hard boss fights for the most part. Oh, what? Oh, I guess we're just going right into it. Oh, I got a rainbow sword. Nice. Oh, that wasn't fast enough. Damn, am I outspeeding him? Oh, oh, you got me. You got me. I feel kind of bad for this boss. I mean, it's not going to be a flawless victory, sadly. I got clipped by his massive arm. The get off me doesn't matter. I'm too scared to use the special on this. I thought we were gonna have like mini fights on the way there. Wow, I actually dodged his get off me. That's sad. He just, he just wanted me to go away and I just said no. Chani is like one mechanic to try to combat me and it doesn't work most of the time. Oh, I kind of feel bad for him. Look at that, see that? Like I knew, I knew what he wanted. Oh, he's kind of in an awkward spot for me, I'm not gonna lie. And that time it hit me, but it didn't matter, because I used the wall to stop myself. That's so sad. I went for a special attack there, but it didn't come out. It's possible it doesn't work on the side dash, maybe, or maybe it took my side input as an input. So he's actually in a really awkward spot for me. I kind of need him to do something else for a little bit. Thank you. That works, I guess. I mean, that was not a hard fight. It was just more unfortunate he clipped me in the beginning. Gotta bother wasting my magic on that guy.
King of the Water Spirit, the Chosen One is here. Release your mighty powers and grant your favor to the soul. Spirit King Servant says, The one that was foretold has come. We recognize this Chosen One. Please come inside. Now loading. That is the sacred pedestal. Do you have the stone tablet? Go and place the imprint of the seal on the tablet. Like how it asked me if I'm sure if I want to use it. Pale light surrounds the seal. You receive the seal of the water spirit. I believe that's three down. I think I just have to go back to the fireplace now. Spirit King Servant says, Chosen One, I give you this knowledge. When the spirits... Oh no, not the rotating camera. When the spirits and the humans lived in the world together, there were many terrible wars. Then a prince summoned Ma'o. His name was Zarug. He gained power over all the spirits and used them to destroy many kingdoms. His wrath was like a scythe which cut through the countryside. No one was spared. Not even women and children escaped his evil terror. He gathered a large army of terrible monsters and demons. The last kingdom was ruled by Princess Elamira. Zeruj ordered her execution, but then something made him change his mind. Perhaps it was love, and perhaps not. But whatever the reason, he was too late. In sorrow, he took his own life. Now you must find out what made him change his mind. Zeruj was once a peaceful prince. But the effects of the wars turned his love into rage. His army disappeared into the depths of the sea. No one knows what happened to the spirit of Ma'o. It's been so long that the story is thought to be a children's fairy tale. But most will admit that his presence can still be felt. Okay. Spirit King Sermon says, My mission is complete. May all the spirits give you divine protection. Are you going to give me armor? Oh, it's floating up in the sky, sure. Oh, you supermaned away. The air seems to tremble. A piece of metal appears. Well, <laughs> I love that he doesn't just straight up give us armor. He just knows to give us the metal. Now have the arrow guard. That sounds like armor. Best defensive features overall. Uh. I mean, it is, like, 11 more defense than the other one. And if it has allegedly high magic defense as well, then there really is no downside to picking this, it seems. Wait, are you gonna make me teleport multiple times to get back, or can I just use the warp crystal? Hmm... Do I still have one? I don't even remember. I do. It has no effect on me. I I try one time to use the angel feather to save time, and it doesn't do anything in this dungeon. Seriously. Wow. Big fail. Yeah, for the most part, I haven't found the warps to be super useful, because most of the time it just provides you a free warp here. And then, like, the one time I wanted to save going into another room, it doesn't work. I'm sure it works in some dungeons, but clearly not this one. Let's go to Volkos, check out the different areas, and then we'll, uh... I guess beat the final dragon. Yeah, we got like what the Imperial Fortress to fight. Obviously, Ma'o is gonna come up at some point. So I imagine there's gonna be like two major dungeons. Angel Feather doesn't work. Apparently, Heaven has forsaken me. Definitely. So I can only really think of maybe three events. I mean, we gotta see what happens when we deal with the dragons. Maybe there's a dungeon related to it.
So I'm just gonna see if there's any new dialogue, and if there's not, we'll just proceed to the next area. Because there were side quests basically everywhere else. Alright, so she said, I read the letter. He joined the Imperial Army in order to get medicine from my mother. He enclosed it in the envelope. My poor father. Wish I could have seen him even as a monster. So sorry for being rude to you. Thank you. Now I can live the rest of my life without pain. And we just throw her into the lava that's right there. I know my I know that my father always loved me. Wait. Oh, we found a dried herb. Oh, cool. Extra herb. Are you not gonna give us the medicine? You suck. Her mother's dead for context. She doesn't need it. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. I thought that was gonna be our ability to get an elixir or something. Little kids hoarding on us. I guess we should have. I guess we should have just t taken the letter and just looted it. <laughs> Been like, oh no, the the magic elixir. It's gone. Who knows? Could have been anywhere. The down has made an excellent recovery from the eruption. Has it? It's still burning. The people are hopeful and work hard for the future. I only saw a couple NPCs out there. Did it forget about all the other people I saved? That's kind of lame. We saved like four other people, but I don't see them anymore. I guess they didn't want to program additional scripts for them or something. So we saved her, I think. Let's see if the inn does anything. Not really. Yeah, so th the whole thing is saving the town didn't really matter, except for the other character. The only named character, we can I guess we concluded her side quest. Hopefully you're doing well, Charlie. <clears throat> I guess they didn't want to invent new lines of dialogue for the people I saved. Yeah, the town has been damaged by earthquake. Will it ever be the same again? I hope not. Yeah, she's talking about the children again. Divine intervention saved the church, yada yada. None of that is new. This continent is floating. Is this a dream? I guess that was slightly new. So, other than wrapping up her side quests, it doesn't feel like there's anything else. Like, I could go grind if I really want to, to get the other side quests done, but... Kinda don't want to. And this take a really gross amount of grinding in order to get that many gold bars. Unless there's like some massive treasure trove I missed somewhere. Because presumably we need like another 80 to 90 bars. And every bar is like 200 gold. And every time we get a perfectly... Um, I'm gonna say you need a new one. Because he asked me what I think about the mayor. He's my father. I don't like you. Yeah, yeah. No one likes the mayor either. Join the club. So outside of losing a gold bar to this guy... It hasn't been very lucrative. In general. At least our looting spree hasn't. Feel very happy. The continent is safe and everyone is working hard. <laughs> Soon I will be a millionaire. Since I'm in such a good mood, I shall give you something. Oh, you're gonna give me something. Here's a sacred stone, especially for you. Oh, dude, we actually get something relevant. Oh. Serious chant echoes through your mind. You've learned the spell of maximum heal. Well, there you go, Chan. He did something. So for 100 MP, I full heal myself. Okay. So I, I guess it was worth coming back. Sadly, we can't touch his do not touch book or paintings. One day, chat, one day. So we'll check out the lab, and then if there's nothing else to do, then I guess we did all the side quests. So I guess there weren't that many in the game. There was like, what, five-ish? We can't complete the merchant if we count that as a side quest. And the guy that wants the cards... I don't really feel like doing RNG grinding. 
if it was like guaranteed that we could get them i would have done it but the fact that like i could kill 11 enemies in a row and then it doesn't give me anything is ridiculous oh hey a cutscene Quirky says, nobody's here. Zeroist wrote something in his research notes. What happened? Quirky? I can't believe that Zeroist is dead. He's the mastermind who built the Vengal. I feel a great sense of loss, but we must go on. I'm not gonna lie, Zero West kinda sucked. They never really explain how he split into two. It just kinda happened like it was a normal thing in this universe. And they didn't really comment upon it further. Alright, so we got like a little bit of lore, a new spell, a dried herb. And that was the result of coming back to town. It was okay. I was looking at my notes because I wrote down some of the combat moves. Yeah, okay. Anyway, to the ruins of the Fire Temple. <clears throat> Should be left down right. Yeah, the triple strike we've been using tech- oh no, what is this? Hmm, is it gonna be pick a path? Not a fan of pick a path. Yellow. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is really annoying. I can separate him from the shield at least. Oh, I tried doing the uh, other attack, but it didn't do anything. Yeah, it just led to me getting hit there. So what was this other attack? Other than I get interrupted instantly. Yeah, that move sucks. Let's never do that again. I just get attacked and then it didn't elaborate. <laughs> Is there a reason I got attacked just now? Use the translation magic because I need to read this. Nope. Well, it flashed yellow, so because the game gave me a pedestal that normally you identify stuff with. So we'll go back to this. So we'll step on the yellow one. Presume there was a yellow one in this room. We've gone up MP. There is. So it's just kind of touch a pedestal, get attacked, pay attention to the color, I guess. You really just gonna not attack? Now you're actually just trolling. I mean, fortunately, it's not a hard fight, but I am just getting trolled. Not reading my inputs. Um, what was the point of this? Okay, so I touched the yellow one. I don't remember another color flash. So it darkened, which is good. 
Do I just have to keep checking this over and over? Nope. Did, did I miss like a color flash when I was looking away? I don't know, I'm just gonna pick one. The flash green, and I'm in green, so I guess that works. Whatever. Oh, that move is so slow, that's right, okay. Yeah, the other sword moves seem terrible, not gonna lie. I figured I'd try them one last time, but yeah, even if I do them, they're just too slow. Bully this guy away from his shield. Ideally here, every fight will give me MP. So that way I just have more for the end of the game. I don't care if I get injured. Ooh, 70 MP, that's huge. That's basically a, a, a moderate restore of HP for free. I'm just gonna pick them in a random order. I don't know. I don't think it matters. So now we fight enemies. See, so yeah, I'm not impressed with the sword moves whatsoever. I think if they didn't have like such massive startup, they would have been fine. Kind of like the dagger uppercut is like one of the only useful skills because it starts up fast enough. Every other one is like, you have to do it from so far away. And at this point, the enemies are just way too aggressive to get away with it. More MP, nice. Hopefully I don't need to read those. It's already gaining a huge amount of MP for the end of the game. Uh oh. These didn't close. Did it want me to go to red first? Was there an order? If so, that kind of sucks. As I said before, it's possible I missed something. I was like looking down briefly to look at moves. If so, that really sucks that I got to redo this. I'm not gonna say the game didn't tell me, but if chat knows, if I miss some color order that the game gave me, I'd love to know what it is. Also, can you please stop doing that attack? Seriously? There we go. Bad enemy. Wait, he- Oh, he could steal MP when he strikes me. Oh. That actually kind of sucks. He gave me a high potion, so I'm just gonna gain it back. But that's kind of unfortunate. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, they don't seem to be sealing, which is a bit concerning. <clears throat> so, I mean, I gained MP, so I have no reason not to save. Oh, maybe I have to- oh, maybe I have to go to these first and then it works. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's stupid. Do I really have to- do I have to do this twice or do I just have to go through the side rooms? I didn't realize there were doors over there right away. Okay, so that's what I missed. I felt like there was more to the puzzle because I'm like, I saw what the first color was. So let's see if it remembered that I already cleared them or if I have to clear them again, it's fun. Nice flawless victory there. Or MP attained. So let's see. Will it remember that I did that? If not, that's sad. But on the plus side, more MP. Oh, I gotta redo it then. I'm going to save every time we get MP because that will save us a lot of time potentially in the future. So I already gained another full heal and a minor heal worth of healing for the end of the game. So we gotta look out for the sorcerer draining our MP. Everything else is kind of whatever. Wow, 
that was ultra free. White crystal attained. Okay, we got more healing for the end of the game. Nice 666 MP chat. Nice. All right, so now, now we, now we're allowed to do it. Why are we allowed to step on it early and then it, ugh, whatever. I guess it's technically a puzzle, I guess. Oh my eyes. And we gotta do the green one next. So I think once we're done with this, this should be the last dragon fight at least. Well, I think I have figured out the exact movement pattern to beat this enemy. I hope that was convincing for chat. That was back-to-back -back defeating of this enemy without getting hit. So he has a very exploitable AI, and that's all we need. I think it was green. So we'll do green now. We're almost at 999 MP, so this is really good. So if I need to spam spells for damage, or if I want to get the cards, I could in theory use all this MP to cheese a lot of enemies. 766 MP is a lot of free damage, but essentially I could do. Oh, he was too close, so we did the other attack. Goodbye, flawless victory. Yeah, I need him to do the laser attack. Then I can set up on him. Oh, or being against the wall, so it kind of sucks there. Okay, so he does punish side dashing if you don't wait for the laser attack. So we learn something a little bit. So I like that every time we fight them, I learn a little more about their mechanics. I'll trade blows there, I don't care. Black Crystal Attained, which I think is random MP, right? It is. Wow, we have so much MP. Literally almost 999, which I'm assuming is the max. So we gained one extra healing item, one extra MP. We almost doubled our MP. This is feeling pretty good, chat. Two more fights and it's over. We just got to make sure not to get MP drained by the sorcerer. I didn't even realize that was a thing until I looked, because I don't usually pay attention to my MP. And or I usually avoid sorcerers because I hate fighting them. Oh, did that seriously hit me? That sucks. I didn't drain my MP though. Why didn't he run? Why did he double dash? That sucks. Seriously. That time I broke his guard. Oh yeah, that took away 200 MP. That's why, we don't usually see that attack. So this fight is like ultra not worth it then. Cause he could just drain all my MP. That is actually really irritating. Cause that attack is hard to react to. Cause I, I have to dash in to interrupt him when he's like this. That sucks. I'll take the MP loss, because we don't technically need all that MP. Seriously? Also, why am I not getting the run? There we go. I, I need him to run. If I dash forward, I can't break his guard, just for chat clarity. And that makes that way harder than it should be. That's okay. So we got drained of MP, so now we know. I think that was maybe only the second or third time we've been hit by that total. So I don't usually pay attention to that. It's normally very easy to dodge, but if he's going to do it like in the corner and you... Oh, I didn't mean to do this. I gotta go back. Well, actually, no, I think this is fun. I think we activated the red light earlier. So just... Yeah, like right there. Like I didn't get the run animation and he just dashed. Why is it that he sometimes does it and then doesn't do it other times? There we go. I'm just holding forward, so it should just work. Welcome, Kirk. 
it's out of range. Yeah, I'm not getting the run attack that I was getting earlier. Like, oh, that actually... I'm actually going to reset on that one. Can I? Oh, I can't do it mid-battle. That's an amount of MP that is not okay. I am resetting. Man, that sucks. That drains so much. Yeah, I'm resetting. That That's like the equivalency of undoing like five or six battles worth of MP. That's not worth it to me at all. So I'm just resetting. I didn't game over. I just decided it wasn't worth my time losing almost 500 MP in that battle. So yeah, there seems to be like a little finicky niffs with it. And maybe I just didn't notice it before. But when I hold R1 and forward to run... He, it looks like he always has to do a dash, and that dash, if I don't then immediately go into the run, gives me the wrong attack out of it, and I can't combo off of it. So I'll get, like, his overhead swing instead of the bash. So I have to be really careful to not attack too early out of it, or I'm not going to do what I need to do. So that was a nuance that didn't really matter before, but now it's actually pretty annoying. I thought he just started... I know he needed a minimum distance. I didn't realize he dashed every time, because that forces me to, uh, as I said before, do awkward attacks if I do it and then cancel. I don't know if it remembered that I have to do this. I'm just going to go redo this room. If we get MP drained, I got to do it again. So let's just force this to be correct. Oh, I don't have to refight that apparently. So it did remember that we did it. It's, yeah, it's just kind of like it punishes you for trying to run and then it also punishes you for attacking too early in general. I don't like that there's a bit of a delay. Like I'm going to hold forward here so you see what I'm talking about. Like there, he did his little dash instead of the run attack. I want that specifically to happen. So if you just walk forward and don't bash him, like he's not going to get stunned. So that's going to mess up your combos. Also, seriously? And that was an example where the dash attack came out and I couldn't triple slice. Seriously. All right, this should be big damage at least. Or not. I don't know how he blocked the third slash there. That was unfortunate. So after a dash, I don't seem to be able to do my triple slice, which also kind of sucks. So I get like a single attack, which is obviously not great compared to triple attack. So that can also throw me off if I'm expecting a second or third hit to stun. So, just noticing the nuance, I guess. So we did lose a little bit of MP, but overall we gained MP in the dungeon, because we were at, like, what, 560? So instead of being at 800-something, we're at 676, which I'm okay with. That's fine. Chamber of the Fire Dragon. So today, sadly, will be a bit on the short end of streams, since I have something to do around noon. And we got more than enough time. We got easily another hour and a half to go. So I'm hoping we resolve the dragon quest. I'm really curious for the guide for the game. Not not like the official guide. I, I know there is an official guide. I technically own the official guide somewhere. Because I got that a, I got this game a long, long time ago. It's like Prima, maybe? Yeah, from the standpoint of like the boss strategies, I'm really curious what nonsense we are gonna see on Game Facts. I mean, I'm clearly doing the right thing, where I just troll him. I blocked there, I wasn't feeling confident.
Man, do you like me to... Oh, he blocked that last hit? Oh, come on. What was that? Why didn't that hit him? I got cheated. I got cheated. Oh, I must have let guard, like, for a frame. Because I saw my arm go up like I guarded. Yeah, you can guard his pushback move, which seems kind of unfair, to be honest with you. I don't think I should be allowed to do that. So I could just stop him from hitting me altogether, which is funny. I'm kind of sad he's against the wall like this. That's okay, you can damage me if you want. It doesn't matter. Let's trade blows. Your HP's low enough. We, we, could, we could go into that war. <laughs> Alright, Chan, where's the downside for me? I'm gonna full heal no matter what. Who cares? I just need to make sure the initial part of the boss is injured. Spear King of Fire, behold, the one who holds our destiny has come. It pushes you out of the hitbox when you guard it. Yeah, it, it tries. Give him strength to face the evil spirits and rescue us, us all. Yeah, whatever. The, the boy who is the scepter has come again to fulfill our prophecy. Please give him guidance. So yeah, at the end, it's like, just trade blows. Who cares? Three out of four. Yeah, the wind dragon was irritating. Holy, with his like z frame zero projectile, that was actually annoying. Little, little, literally no animation. It just his mouth opens, then it hits you. There's nothing in between. If it had an animation, it would have been fine. Spear King servant says, "This is the pedestal. Please brand your crest into the stone tablet." Yeah, yeah, whatever. There you go. Red light surrounds the tablet. Press is branded onto the tablet, so we should have all four now. Spear King Servant says, Listen to the history handed down many generations. Oh, the camera's back. Long ago, the spirits and humans coexisted on this world. Sometimes there were skirmishes deciding ownership of land. They were sparse since there was so much land to be shared amongst them. But one day, the Ma'o, the Ma'o, was summoned by a prince. His name is Zugare we already know about. With terrible strength and deadly wrath, he separated the spirits from the humans. He divided the spirits into four different spirit worlds. They were sealed into a parallel dimension. This kept the humans from controlling nature's power without the help of spirits. He also took away almost all the magic from humans, hoping to leave them helpless. Zarug massacred all of the human leaders in an effort to unite humanity under his rule. But after a strange incident occurred with the princess, Zuruge Mao disappeared. After many years, the humans used the little magic they had to regain their power. They called upon the spirit world to help them as well. But the spirits were deceived by the greedy humans. The two fa human factions became engaged in a huge war, and a new Ma Mao was summoned. Although he did not cause the death and destruction, he fed upon the hatred. He became very powerful, and soon he will come forth again. So that one told us, like, literally almost nothing different from the one that we read before. Other than apparently there's a new Maho. That's all we learned. Yeah, yeah, pray for protection, yada yada. Give me your shield or whatever. <laughs> right, Chan, do your little Superman. Get out of here. Feel a surge of power. Give us a shield. Okay, we got the shield. We lose two damage, but we get 22 defense. I think I'm okay with that, right, chat? That's that's kind of significant. That's like gaining a quarter of our health per hit. Don't think I could ignore that level of defense, to be honest. Well, we briefly used the merchant stuff, sort of. It's already redundant. So I guess I could have been doing the merchant stuff before the dragons if it would have been more useful. Like, as soon as I went to Volcanos, I could have come back to Aquas. Oh well. I feel like we haven't leveled up in a while, but I'm sure it's coming. Maybe we just gotta return and we'll level up, get more HP for our LP. Let's go back to Sapir. I'm mashing the skip button chat.
So I, th I think we did all of them. So we went to the ruins this place first, and I just went in order. So I'm assuming we just... Presumably not beat the game, but at least we could progress here a little bit. Oh, unless I do have to go... Mm. Oh, no, no. Maybe we do have to go here. Yeah, now that we have all four, let's see what happens. Kalrock, the spirit beast, speaks to you through Corky. This is how you can release the spirit's barrier. Imprint the crest of the four spirits on the stone tablet and return it to the pedestal. Okay. So we should be done. <laughs> you have completed this test. Obviously you're worthy of the spirits' attention. The spirits are impressed with your courage. But why won't they release the barrier? Because there is one other condition. What? You get to demand a human sacrifice? All of my power has gone into creating this barrier. I need the power of another spirit beast in order to counteract the spell. Okay. Porky will need to sacrifice himself to me. Oh. Oh, rip Corky, I guess. Bye, Corky. <laughs> this is too much. How can I ask you for something like this? It is not what he... It's not that he has to die. His soul will enter my body. We will become one thing. He will not be lost. Oh no, he is Legion? <laughs> oh no, how many spirits does he have inside him, chat? I'm sorry, Eon, he's right. I was lucky to take on this small body and be with you guys. Now I must act responsibly. Say goodbye to everyone for me, especially Laramie. Goodbye, Eon. No, you're my partner. I need your help. You need me to do this. Otherwise, this mission can never be completed. Rip Corky. Welcome, Dango. Uh-oh. Bye for now. The great spirit's gone! Corky, no! Corky is safe. He has joined me to become Corey. We must warn you creatures of the corporal worlds. Powerful spirit forces are in alignment. You must leave this land. Whatever you say, giant pigeon. <laughs> also, I love Eon's delivery of Corky. No. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's the first time we see its head. Barrier broken. What is this place? What am I doing here anyway? Where are Eon and Corky? I better go find them. Wasn't calling that the beard was a spirit MacGuffin, but I'm not surprised at all either. Oh, there we go. We now see the in-game model for the head. We were only seeing its almighty chest before. So Karak goes, The spirits have lifted the barrier. The people of the town will awake from their trance. I hope so. <clears throat> the Imperial Wizardry can now enter the town. Please warn your friends. You will need their help. Return here as soon as you are ready. Okay. Time for her to lose her mind because she lost her friend. Baby. Oh, Eon. Oh. I, I skipped dialogue because I forgot. If you touch any button at all on the controller, it advances, including D-pad. So I gotta, I gotta find a way to hold the controller without resting my thumb accidentally on the D-pad or something while in dialogue. Anyway. So I think it was basically along the lines of, I don't remember how I got here. Yeah, what happened to us? I can't remember what I've been doing. I, I mean, see, it's, we didn't miss much. 
You were in a trance caused by the barrier that the spirits made. I was unaffected since I have the four orbs, but now the barrier has been lifted. I see, but why do you look so concerned? Is something else wrong? It's Corky. He's... He's returned to the spirit world. What? Corky's gone? But why? He had to leave in order to release the barrier. He's now within the body of Karak. He did it for us. Poor Corky. Didn't even get to say goodbye. I'm sorry. I already miss him. I always treated him like he was just a bird. I don't think I ever took him seriously. Yeah, you're kind of a crappy friend. He was a good companion. Oh, this is awful. Please, let me be alone. Sure, whatever, Laramie. <laughs> We're like, wait, stop, don't go. <laughs> Just raise our hand. <laughs> why, did, why did we make that pose? Okay. Oh, I clipped into the building there. Did you see that? Nice little visual bug. Oh, she was easy to find. Who are you? And where am I? What has happened to my kingdom? Please, take me back. Arceo, what's wrong with you? Don't you remember me? Why are you like this? Arcea, it's me, Eon. Well, we destroyed her paradise and her mind broke. Eon. Are you all right now? We're all in some sort of trance. I think so, but I almost wish you didn't wake us up. I can't help you anymore, Eon. Why? What is it? What are you talking about? In the trance, I remembered something. Now I must find out the truth and that I might have to fight against you. Wait, what? <laughs> but wait, what? <laughs> what are you saying, Gandor? What's gotten into your head? Yeah, what are you saying? I'm not exactly sure what I saw in the trance, but it has nothing to do with you, Laramie. I have to get going. Goodbye. Wow, did Dogi betray us? Gandor, wait. I don't understand. I'm with you, Eon. What? What did you see in the trance? What did that have to do with not helping us? Don't worry about it. He might still be dreaming. Wait, wait no. Wait. No, don't. Let, let's, let's worry about it. They're clearly not right. I'm sure he'll regain his senses soon. And then we kill him later, right, chat? <laughs> By the way, have you checked on Arcea? She should be in here. <laughs> Didn't explain anything and just love you, pretty much. Why hasn't Arcea returned to her old self? This is too much. First Slazer, then Corky. Gandor, and now Arcea. Yep, we just broke her mind, chat. Oh, bye. Oh, she's over here. Laramie. Laramie. Well, they said to return here when we're ready, so I might as well just come in here. Don't come. Laramie. Everyone's gone, and now Arcea's in serious danger. How could this happen? <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, Eon, I'm so confused. You must go to her. You must save Arcea. Laramie, I'm going to stay right here and make sure that you're safe. And then, and then, when your job's done, you'll be able to rush right over to Arcea's side where you wish you were right now. Oh. I'm sorry, Eon. I'm just under such stress. Damn, she's straight up jealous of Arcea, chat. The jealousy is real. To be fair, I think I like Laramie more. More because she's got a giant weapon. <laughs> Nothing to do with anything else in the game. It's just 
I mean, she just she just has a battle axe on hand at all times. I'm all right. Please check on Arcia. Sure, sure, whatever. Well, at least we got confirmation that Laramie likes us, I guess. I guess we'll consider that progress. Oh, new dialogue this time. Arcia, why did this happen? Oh, hello, soldier. Who was wandering the town earlier. Please, get this armor off of me. Otherwise, the Imperial Army will recapture me. Oh. What are you doing? I can't participate in the cruelty of the army. Ah, <laughs> the barrier has been released. Now we may proceed with our plans. But first, we must find the traitor. What was that? We've located the traitor, sir. He's in the building. Excellent. Now destroy him so we can leave. This will show everyone the folly of defying the Imperial Wizardry. No, please, not again. <laughs> wow, he straight up got exploded. I would scream too, holy. That guy had one of the most violent deaths so far. <laughs> wow, like we stabbed like dragons to death, but we didn't like blow them to pieces. Ah! I, oh, she has a reason. Get away from me. Don't come near me. Mysterious power overcomes your body. <laughs> Is it shock from the giant explosion? We gained a level. Yay, we witnessed murder. A mysterious chant echoes through your mind. You learn the spell of genocide. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I guess. Where Where is genocide at on this list? Oh, it's up here. Kills all unarmored enemies. Two fifty MP. Well, that's a little extreme. <laughs> wow, I witnessed that guy get blown up. That looks like fun. Our protagonist chat. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. It did look really strong. Spiritron. Yeah, we did check on Arcia. Okay, what do you have to say, Karak? Let me explain something to you, Eon. This town was built as a giant tombstone for a large underground kingdom. The kingdom once prospered under the guidance of the Spirit King of the Earth, but after the Great War, the kingdom virtually perished. The Imperial Wizardry has since come here to build their fortress. They knew that any contact with the humans could have with the spirits would come through here. They thought if they were based here, they could keep watch over the spirits. And they also hoped this would enable them to control the power of Erlim. But Erlim also has the power to restore the world to its former structure. The spirits wanted only one that could attain the four orbs to have this access. It is your destiny, Eon, to restore this world to how it was meant to exist. No, it's supposed to be Arcia. I'm just helping out. Arcia recites the lifting verses, but it is your destiny to save the world. But why me? Because you have the scepter. You've already lifted three of the lands, but that won't last forever. To ensure the safety of the continents, you need a permanent solution. But first, you need to lift this continent. Go find wise men Lazelle in the cemetery underground. Hmm. Is that where I'll find the lifting verse? Yes. Now go to the center of town, to the Tower of Re Requiem. As you are standing there, announce that you are the master of Erlin. Then the entrance will open, and you may descend. There isn't much time left for us. Whatever you say, giant bird. Do you have anything to say about this, Laramie? Oh, just check out Arcia? Whatever. <laughs> A permanent solution and we just learned genocide? It's true, if you call the population, then the land won't sink as quickly. True facts. This must be the place. Here goes. I'm the master of heirloom. Wow, it worked. Wow, it worked, chat. 
underground cemetery. Hello, little girl. Oh. Now you see me, now you don't. No, I still see you. Hmm. I've been waiting for you. Now you see me, now you don't. Cool. Public cemetery. This is the cemetery. Perhaps there may be some ghosts. Strange words are written here. Worship of the six graves. Oh my gosh, what is this? Ugh. Yeah, fine. We'll write it down, I guess. Like Surge's gym all over again. What is this nonsense? All right, so east, second of upper right, second of lower right, whatever that means with this many rows, far west. Also, I wrote eat instead of east on my notes. Oops. So everything is the second of. So maybe if I find the right row, I just do the same thing on both sides. That's not too bad, then. I really can't type today. I'm glad you can't see me typing right now. Oh, and then there's a northeast. Okay, right, well... Northeast. I'm not sure how that differs between second of upper right and northeast. First... First of right corner. We're gonna be here a while, Chad. I just want you to know. I don't think I'm gonna get this instantly. Also, can I state how happy I am? Oh, maybe they all have this. I don't care about the north. So it should be the, the one that's right here, right? For Northeast. Oh, here goes the ghostly voice. My life was cut short. I was not ready to die yet. Oh, so I could just technically brute force it. I don't know what the second of... Maybe it means like this one? No. Right, another one. Death is everywhere. We could be torn apart tonight. That means in theory. The other one was southwest. Try this one. It said first of left corner. Is that not the first? You're considering this the first? Whatever. There's a cliff. The child. Oh no. Okay. This should be one, right? I haven't had anything to eat for a very, very long time. It's so dark in here. Please turn on the light. So we did southwest. I just did west. I did east. Did I miss one? Oh, unless... Oh, maybe this, the northeast is here. I, see, I don't consider that northeast. Wouldn't you just call this north? Whatever. I would have considered the other one more northeast. This is like north northeast. Suffering is often worse than death itself. You're telling me. Anyway, we've talked to all of them, so what do we got to do? Okay, it just made the room go darker. It didn't do anything. Question mark? Oh, there's just a person here now. Okay. Greed leads to sin. Would I like some gems? If I say yes, are you going to actually do it or are you going to make me fight? I'm going to say no. 
The door is open. We now attain the lifting verse of the Earth Spirit. I'm assuming we would just fight like a wizard or some BS. I don't really want to deal with that right now. And I'm going to step on the hexagram. Actually, maybe we don't need to go there yet. Let's go. Let's check the room to see if something else changed. Oh, oh yeah, I see it. Now there's a staircase going downwards. I see it now. The melody of the lifting verse is heard. Hmm. It is the first verse of a total of four. You must seek out the other three. Oh, really? Come on. That sucks. Oh. Looks like there's some passageways that will open up eventually. What's in here? Ooh, more LP. Source of power attained. Nice. It's also a shame when you get another source of power that uh, it doesn't give you the health. Like, we unlocked another thing of health, but we also, at the same time, didn't recover to that total. So now I have 85 total health. Guess I'll go back in the main room now. Maybe there's something I have to find. So we have to go there eventually. You're back. I've been waiting for you. Now you see me, now you don't. Soldier Cemetery. This is the cemetery for soldiers and priests. Hmm. Your ghostly voice, sitting, waiting, anticipating, nothing. It's a tombstone. It's a tombstone. I knew I shouldn't have eaten my mother-in-law's Salisbury steak. Is it just the cardinal directions? Is that the puzzle? I just skip some steps here. When they tell you to look both ways before crossing the road, you should listen. I guess they didn't listen. Your ghostly voice, a living soul willing to visit us here is brave indeed. Because of your courage, I will open the passage for you. Please proceed. Okay. Near the lifting verse being chanted. This is the second verse of a total of four. Seek out the other two. Is there just another random treasure chest here? Oh, there is. Obtained a life stone. So we now have two moderate heals, so I'm feeling pretty good for the end of the game right now. Not feeling like I will... I feel like I should just first try this, whatever the final bosses are. We, we've we gone above and beyond in terms of safety. So presumably I gotta go to the north now. Because we saw the hexagram, but nothing to do there. Did you find what you're looking for? If you did, can you help me find something? I've been waiting for you. Now you see me, now you don't. This is the graveyard for the king and his servants. Okay. I can't loot them. Right, Chad, that's my first instinct. Okay, these don't seem to do anything. Hmm. So I can't seem to interact with anything. You paid your respects to the eight kings that are buried here. Ah, oh, yes, respect. Definitely not attempted grave robbing. A passageway is open. You may proceed. I was gonna say, I'm assuming it was on the left side or the top side. Because the north side would have been too hard to see by default. Here's someone recite the lifting verse. It is the third verse out of a total of four. You need to final one to complete the verse. Okay. Oh, there's the chest. 
special herb, herb attained. So we got another full heal. So we're looking, we're looking real good for the end of the game, chat. So if the final area is not super difficult, uh, we have a lot of HP for the boss. Have you seen my mother? Please try to find her for me. Uh, well, we went left, up, right. Let's try down. Now loading. Oh, it just exits. I guess that's fair. I thought we'd get a cutscene for trying to go through here. Hmm. Well, I mean, the mother, I think, was in here, assuming she hasn't moved. I'm looking for my daughter. Can you find her? Am I just reuniting the family, I guess? Hmm. Just, make, just making sure there's no other characters here. All right, nobody appeared over here. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, somebody's here. I'm looking for my daughter. Can you help me find her? Okay. So there's more than one person looking for their daughter. I can't tell if it's all the same person or all part of the same family. Soldier Cemetery. I'm just gonna walk around to see if there's any other NPCs here. You appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Hello. I'm looking for my daughter. Can you help me find her? Everybody's looking for the daughter, apparently. Hmm. I haven't seen my mother for a thousand years. Can you find her? Can you really find her? I can hardly remember her face. Are you sure you could find her? I'm gonna say yes. I'm going to assume it's just the first one. And if it's not, big oops, I guess. I mean, I have like a 50-50, right? She could be in the upper right. Did you find her? Grandma, where's my mother? It's me, after a thousand years. Cool. After a thousand years apart, we meet again. You who wants the truth, come forward now. Sure. Body's overcome with the mysterious power. Oh, we gained another level. Look at that, chat. We now have 90 HP instead of 80. So 10 extra HP and another 90 total health on top of that. So that's pretty huge. Due to getting another LP. We'll walk forward. I am Lazo, wise man of the earth. Listen carefully, as it is extremely important that you understand. This continent was originally shaped like a spherical cavern, but as time went on and the continent sunk closer to the sea, the bottom of the land began to erode away. This process gradually revealed the Imperial Fortress. Those who survived the Great War secretly built the fortress hoping to revive their power. Using the energy of Saphir, they became powerful. Eventually, they invaded many of our towns and destroyed them. The desert has swallowed up all of the remains. Only Galtania escaped their wrath because of Karak and the barrier made by the spirits. Now you must save Galtania, or Galtania. Here is the final verse for the lifting ceremony. Scepter memorizes the lifting verse. However, if you recite the verse now, the fortress will also gain energy and power. First, you must sabotage their power core. If the lifting power of heirloom comes exactly when the core is destroyed, 
only Galtenia will be lifted. The Imperial Fortress will be separated from the land and fall into the sea. If your lifting verse is not recited in time, the fortress will take Galtenia down with it. Now you must face oh now you must prepare yourself to face this incredible challenge. Return when you are ready. Wise man Lazelle, how will we know when to recite the verse? Will Arcia understand? I better go see her first. Sure. I might have enough time to do this. It really just depends on how big this dungeon is. Worst thing that happens is I have to pause. But I imagine we could probably do the Imperial Fortress, but if there's something after that, I don't think we have time for it. But for now, let's see what the plot has to say. Where have you been? We've been looking for you. Eon, I'm sorry I gave you so much trouble. Arcia, you're back to your old self again. Yeah, it was strange. Gandor set her straight. He came back and had a long talk with her. Then she fell asleep. When she woke up, she was back to normal. I didn't even get a chance to thank Gandor before he left again. Arcia, do you remember anything? No, nothing. I'm sorry. Now Corky and Gandor are both gone. It's all my fault. It isn't anyone's fault. We still have to complete our mission. Give me your hand. I'll give you the lifting verse. You found it. Good job. But we can't recite the lifting verse right away. Why is that? I have to sabotage the Imperial Fortress first. Otherwise, they will benefit from the floating power. Yes, we need to get rid of them somehow. Gandor didn't want me to tell you this, but... He's planning to infiltrate the Imperial Fortress himself. Zero has told him a secret passage into the infrastructure of the fortress. I think he's going to need your help, Eon. I know he wanted to do it by himself, but I don't want to lose anyone else. Please, help him, Eon. Laramie. Take this with you. I've had it since I was a small child. It's my coral necklace. Take it as a good luck charm. Thank you. Please, make it back safely. I'll be waiting. Okay. Guess we'll continue forward. So... Into the obelisk we go. Okay, let's jump. We and then we break our legs. Imperial Fortress entrance. Hmm. I'll go down first. I want to fight you if we don't have to. And I got caught anyway. Oh, you got multi-hits. But you can't block. Oh no, you can't block. Oh, then you're just a big troll. At least he's respecting my sword strikes, which is a good sign. Oh, I had nowhere to dodge. That sucked. I was in the corner. Just for chat clarity. It's not like I could back up when that happens. Uh, wow, that did an insane amount of damage to us. Wow, that's with the best armor that we just got? I feel super weak. What the heck? Unfortunate. I definitely don't want to get into more fights with these. Oh, I tried. At least I'm interrupting his attack, sort of. He keeps clipping me with the side strike. Is he reading when I'm letting go of guard? Please stop. 
please stop doing that. That is so rude. That's a lot of damage. 120 MP though, so I get a full heal out of this. Let's try to greed with the medium heal first though. Alright, so we still we still gained MP total in that fight, which is fine. Um There's a message on the console, insert system card. Oh no. Now in B block. There's a save point. Which I wish I knew was here earlier, but whatever. Would have saved some MP. We're still up a hilarious amount of MP though. There's like a middle place I could go to. Jill, what happened to you? I thought Jill was already dead, I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, you're here. The captain. Captain? Do you mean Slazer? I was injured aboard the Vanguard and he rescued me. He brought me here to this fortress and said you would be here soon. Where is Slazer now? I don't know. I keep blacking out. Hang on, Jill. I think those injuries are worse than they look. I don't think I have much longer. Don't talk like that. I'll get you some help. Laramie and Gander will be ha so happy to see you alive. Just hang in there. No. I want them to think I died aboard the Vangle. I mean, I thought you were dead because literally everybody else died. Otherwise, they might blame themselves. But Jill... Just listen to what I have to say. The leader of the Imperial Wizardry is a horrible monster named Golda Zephyr. He's here in the central control area of the fortress. But to enter that area, you will need a special security card and code number. If you could kill Golda Zephyr, the Imperial Wizardry will collapse. Okay. Jill? Jill! Okay. He is dead. Hmm. So eventually we need a key card from something. Oh, you weren't here before. So, okay, so if I didn't talk to him, this guy doesn't appear, so he probably is the key card then. Oh, that was such a slow attack, I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, the stomp. Wow, our weapon barely hurts these enemies. It's kind of concerning if this is the ultimate weapon. I mean, look at this. I'm doing like... Oh, let's... Wow, I backed up and that wasn't fast enough? That sucks. That moment when you react to the game, but it's not good enough. I guess I got a sidestep there or something. Yeah, see, I'm backdashing there. But it catches me on the backdash. Well, I guess I just better keep attacking. If dashing doesn't work, I'll just keep brutalizing him. Whatever. We're gonna heal ourselves anyway soon. So presumably we'll get another card. You've attained the security card. Try using the security card. Uh... You insert the security card. The card is rejected. Perhaps it was damaged during your battle. The scepter glows. Scepter restores the security card. You insert the system card. Okay. Progress is being made. I see an enemy immediately to my left. So what happens if I go right? Oh, they're on both sides. Oh, that was a lift. Uh... That kind of sucks. 
Hmm. Uh, so I guess we have to kill this guy to raise this platform. Wow. If chat didn't know what happened there, I blocked the attack. And it hit me anyway because it wedged me along the wall until I was no longer facing the right direction to block. That was so cheap. Oh, come on. Come on. He stole my MP, chat. I might reset again, to be honest with you. How am I supposed to approach him if he just instantly blocks my run attack? This is stupid. I don't like this enemy type chat. Uh, that time it was a little faster. Uh oh, that was a heal magic, not the shield magic. I don't like that heal and shield are similar colors, because sometimes I forget. Man, whenever I get the dash instead of the run, that is just so unfortunate. I'll back up slightly, so hopefully he... There we go. So I guess I gotta do it twice to always be the right distance. Okay, to do it twice. And then that doesn't work because he's allowed to regard. Cool. I, I might not reset on this, but if he hits me again, I'm resetting. Because I think we have enough MP. This better be worth it, is what I'm saying. If this if this doesn't unlock anything, I am gonna reset, and I'll just not step on the lift next time. But we'll see. He did the double dash instead of running again. There we go. I need him to run. Please run. No, don't double double dash. Just run. There we go. Yeah, this enemy is way more annoying than this has any right to be. Because, like, I don't know what you're supposed to do if you can't run at him, and then sometimes he just puts a, an orb between you and him, and then it's GG. You just lose all your MP. What a dumb fight. Beated Drifter, rare potion attained. You gain power from the fallen sorcerer, LP's increased. What's rare potion? Is that, like, super MP? It's 400 MP. I guess... I guess we have a reason to keep it now, then. So... Okay, so he t stole 200, we gained 400, technically. So there's passageways over here. But I can't seem to really do anything here. Oh, there's a... There's an opening here. I guess that's fair. Oh, what the... You just keep casting spells and guarding, indeed. And then he can make himself invincible, and he can also heal himself. So he is much more annoying than he has any right to be. Oh. Okay. We're in Galatina, but not really. Welcome to the spirit world. If you can release each wise man's soul, you can get inside the central control area. If you give heirlooms power to Saphir so it can float, the evil leader of the wizardry will become immortal. Wait, why will he become immortal? Wait, hold on, hold on. That that wasn't like a that wasn't like an if then statement. Wait, hold on. Why why would he be immortal if you float a continent? What does that have to do with his age? And if the fortress is destroyed, Zephyr will fall with it. Why is he wearing a wig? <laughs> I'm not sure. His hair did look very goofy on him. You must destroy the fortress at the same time that the land regains its floating power. Do you understand? I don't, but I'm going to say yes to advance the dialogue. The soul of wise man Lazelle is released. You attained a sacred stone. The sacred stone shatters and a mysterious voice echoes through your mind. You learn the magic spell of Flame Sphere. Well, apparently we're a druid in D&D &D or something. Can I go back to heal at any point, by the way? Oh, thank you. 
We're definitely saving in between. Just avoid combat there. I use the power of the save point to dodge him. I don't know if there's other treasures here. Maybe we'll check later. Did anything else unlock? No, not really. Hmm. What to do? I mean, I guess I just keep finding more lifts. Go north first. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Found another lift. This is promising. And presumably, we gotta fight him to activate this place, which is like whatever. I got stuck in my guard animation for some reason. Yeah, like, uh, uh, there's a perfect example. There is nothing I could do to dodge that if I'm against the wall. It also seems like dodging sideways for some reason goes through the sideways attack, which is very counterintuitive. You would think, Chad, if he's coming from the left and right and he sweeps to the middle, that going backwards would be the right response. But that's not seemingly how you dodge this. I'm just wailing on him because I have more HP than him. Chad is curious. I'm not trying to dodge him anymore. Let's save some time and just kill him. Obtained another life stone. That's huge. So, what was the point of this? Are we just slowly raising each platform one by one? Is that what's happening here? Okay. I did not want to get into combat there. I thought I got by him. We should have we should be able to out HP him at least. That's all I care about. And if he gets more life stones, then it's not completely terrible. And again, the bullying strategy mostly works, sadly. Getting knocked down does waste a little bit of time. But it's fine. If we put her back to the wall, we don't slide as far backwards. Case in point. Okay. Face tank time. Let's heal. I guess we just gotta keep doing this over and over and over. Aw, oh, no random items, sadly, that time. Hmm. So there is a place in the middle we didn't go to. So when he... Oh. That is actually kind of annoying that stepping on this requires me to do this again. That is really an unfortunate place to put that lift. So we went here. I don't want to fight the sorcerer. Yeah, I can't avoid it, sadly. So we did defeat this guy to activate this, but it didn't seem to do anything. Random treasure chest. Please don't be a mimic. Source of power attained. So I got even more HP for face tanking. That's fun. We'll go up this platform. Blocking. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, chat, stop it. You're not even attacking me. Just attack me or something. There we go. Listen, I will bully you in the corner all day until you decide to do something else. Man, oh man, I wish I could break his guard.
Oh, I actually blocked the first hit. I thought I got hit on the first hit. That's why I stopped guarding. Because <laughs> I thought I needed to dash. Come on. I'm trying to bait him into not blocking as much. But he's just super guard heavy. And he's definitely reading my inputs just for chat clarity. It's not that he's randomly guarding. He's just straight up reading when I'm attacking. Kind of unfair. Like that. Like how that slow, slow slice is somehow an unblockable. <sighs> yeah. I'm not a fan of these enemies in particular. For the obvious reason that all they do is input read me. Okay, we did another one of these. Got another passageway. Um... Oh, I unlocked another place to go there. Interesting. Oh, no, no, no. We went here already. We went to this other one. Let's go to the east. Because I didn't go to east. My bad. Yeah. I, I think the combat would have been a bit more fun, as I said before, if... If more of the attacks let you actually guard break them. But the fact that they have like infinite guard and they input read you is just kind of obnoxious. Again, it's one thing if they go through their set patterns. Like, you know, we could bait the dragon a lot easier than we could bait the human opponents, for example. But them not having like a big punish move and them constantly being on the defense is just kind of annoying. And sadly, we don't seem to be doing much damage in general. Oh, hello. We're in Volcanos. Oh, this is very red. Hello, other wise men who I don't remember the name of. I am Wise Man Gold. Welcome to the spirit world. Long ago, there was a terrible war which divided the people into two separate factions. You keep telling me this, but this isn't really telling me any new story. This is like the fourth person that's told us this. The Allied Spirit Army and the Imperial Wizardry. Well, I guess they officially named the two factions, I guess, but I thought that was kind of obvious. Neither would give in. So the Wizardry used a weapon which both sides agreed to ban. The Soul of Wiseman Gold is released. Well, we know that already, that they used the forbidden thing. You attained a piece of metal. Is it going to be damage? So the Rand bar Barrier is restored. Okay. Because we are taking a moderate amount of damage. I'm more worried about our defense just being terrible. So we lose all of our shield defense, more or less, but we get damage increase. I don't think that's worth it. I don't think I want to take 25 more damage a hit. I'm going to be real with you. I don't, I don't think that makes sense to me. So we unlock this one, so let's go up here. Like, if the boss is already, like, killing us in three hits, or two hits, it doesn't matter, we'll go power. But when we keep getting chip damage like that, I think I'd rather take the 20 resist. Okay. I'm assuming he's near the church. That's where I'm going. He's not at the church. Um. <laughs> Come on, wise man, where are you? You're near the fountain. You're not near the fountain. You're not near the tavern. Um. Am I missing something obvious? Where is he? Oh, there we go. I am the wise man Zora. Welcome to the spirit world. Our souls have come to rest here as our bodies have died. But we can still watch over our lands and give you guidance. I gave Arcea my magic and you have much of your own. The soul of wise man Zora is released. You attain a piece of metal. You attain a magical sword. You attain the Zoran saber. Oh, okay. Now we might be able to do damage. Also, it feels kind of sad that we go around and we get the power of the dragons and then the weapon is just like immediately useless outside of the dragon fights. Can we talk about that? Only effective against certain enemies. 
Oh, are there set bonuses in this game? Oh. So completing the set gave us more stats than normal. Oh. Right? Isn't that what's happening? Yeah, so completing the Arrow Force set actually gave us a lot of defense. So that's why we had such a big defense increase on the shield. I mean, it makes sense. So if we're not going to do that, then... Well, I mean, I guess we could try the Zoran set. Eventually, it might be nice. So we need to do one more, I think. And I would like to go back to the beginning. Hopefully heal a little bit. So we have one more lift to take, and then we're presumably going to go to the core. So let's just go back here and hopefully heal this time. I do like saving makes them forget where you are, though. Okay, so we didn't take this one yet. This should be the only one we didn't do. So because we're going to face tank anyway, let's just do damage and see if it's worth it. Wow, this is really not doing that much more damage, to be honest with you. It is kind of not worth it. Wow, that can straight up one-shot me now. As can that. Interesting. We survived two swings of that instead of three. Our damage is okay. But he out attacks my third strike there, which is unfortunate. On the plus side, this war of attrition I should win. Thank you, extra LP. That's fine. We don't need to dodge anymore. He's going to guaranteed die. And I don't care about getting Dark Force stuff here. 350 gems. Well, I can get another gold piece, I guess. Now we should be able to go through the west door. Cool. Okay, where's the old man? Oh, there he is. Easier to find this time. I'm the wise man Winoba. Welcome to the spirit world. The Imperial Fortress is powered by magic. They've been trying to attain Erlin so they could gain his superior power. That is why they imprisoned us. But we refused to help them attain Erlin, so they killed us one by one. So wise man Winoba is released. Attain a piece of metal. It's probably the armor. Saran so guard is restored. You attain the guard. Now go and face the enemy. Sure, so our MP count is okay. We have a lot of life stones for any bosses. So I think what we could do... Ooh, okay. That, that's like an okay amount of defense. But more importantly, our attack power is like 40% higher. So that's kind of worth it. Also, where am I? This is not where we came from before. Please tell me I could still heal and do whatever. Please tell me there's a save somewhere. I'll be very mad if I have to do all this again. <laughs> also, how did Gandor get through all this? Did you know we're gonna find him eventually? Hmm. So the guard there. There's a chest here. What's over here? We got a ancient mystery stone. You learned the magic spell Grand Stream. So we're missing one spell. So that tells me, chat, that the merchant probably has a spell for us to learn. Because I don't feel like there is anything stronger than ultimate magic attack consumes 300 MP. I'm kind of curious as to what it looks like, but not like 300 MP curious. Not right now, unless I feel like reloading a save. I, I mean, I maybe I should kill him?
I guess. Guess we should kill him. Guess he has a card key or something. Oh, I like our dark armor. Oh. I had the thing where it wasn't responding to me right away. That's unfortunate. Did it seriously... Okay, that time I think it just ate my inputs. I did a dash, and then I did a, a forward dash, but I only got the side dash. That sucked. I guess it doesn't have a big buffer if it does have one. Yeah, it doesn't have one. Hmm. Unfortunate. The armor is something else, though. We definitely look like Team Evil. So it doesn't provide a lot of defense, but it does speed up the fights, which is kind of a double-edged sword for me. Not sure if I really like that. Oh. He just walked into it. Oh, can I bait them into walking into that? That would actually save me so much time. Listen, the, the move is normally blockable, but if I do it at max distance and they don't block, I guess it's kind of like a quasi-unblockable. So we activated something on the panel. There's a message on the console, release security law. That's all it says. All right, well, I can't seem to do anything here, but presumably plot will happen here eventually. So maybe if I stand really far out of range against a character without a projectile, maybe the sword technique is worth using? Because it's way too slow to use up close for sure. Okay, let's go to the other side and see if there's something here. Like another console or something. And no chest, but there's a person here. Very busy, leave me alone. Well, we're gonna kill this guy and unbusy him real quick. Yeah, this guy's really aggressive. I don't know if he'll let me do it. Oh, well, that kind of worked. Oh, we, we injured him on another health bar? That's possible? Did it? Wow, that did an insane amount of damage to him. Wow, that attack sucks. That attack actually sucks. Did you like him jab me out of it? <laughs> Where's my iframes, chat? Oh my, you killed the god. I'll give you the password if you won't kill me. What code? What is it for? I can't tell you everything. The passcode is triangle triangle XO. So I'll say TTXO. Now please leave. Found the key card. Okay. I mean, I guess it's a better passcode than XOXO. It would send a lot of mixed messages when trying to share that with the crew. Oh, there's Gandor. You're finally here! Why did you leave like that before? When the barrier was lifted, my memory was shaky. I began to see into my past, and I thought I saw you there also, but... Yeah, you said you couldn't help me anymore. I was just confused. I figured it out, though. Now we just have to figure out how to let Arcea know when to begin the lifting ceremony. Wait, are you still not going to explain what that means? I may have an idea. I guess he's never going to explain it, chat. Gandor, how did you know about that? I overheard the wise man telling you. By the way, I think there's something preventing the use of escape magic in here. Wow, that's convenient of him to hear. I know. But don't worry, we'll help each other out. Gandor, let's all be careful. Laramie, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to wait back in town with Arcea. Yeah, but I thought you might be in trouble. I got anxious, so I decided to see if you needed my help. I met Gandor on the way. Don't worry about Arcea. Garak is looking after her. We should all be okay as long as we work together. Let's pay the enemy a visit. I'll get us inside. 
Just wanted to go level first, actually. Yeah. Al, punching the door. Hmm. I can't break it down. Wow. Doesn't look like you're gonna get in that way. Eon, do you think you can open it somehow? Well, I mean, I was going to do that before you all interrupted me. <laughs> anyway, back to walking towards the plot. Oh, or maybe we don't use it there. Never mind, but either way, we're gonna save, because I'd like to be at full health, and it feels like we're right before the boss. So I think it would just make sense to save. I think it would just make sense. Alright, so where do we gotta use this key card? Is it, like, literally next to the door? Must be something I can insert the security card into. There is a slot. Oh, that's messed up. That's messed up. Okay. No, I don't want to use healing magic. Let's use the card key or whatever. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. Card key was used. The console is now activated. There's a message on the console. Input the passcode. Do you try it? Was it TTXO? Yeah. The console indicates that it is TTXO. How did you find out how to open the door? That was easy. I thought it'd be much more challenging. You seem so excited there. We better check it out. Laramie, I think you should stay here for now. Uh-oh, is Gandor gonna die? He doesn't want to show Laramie or something. Gandor, what are you talking about? I came here to face the enemy who's killed all of my friends and family. I want to see him die with my own eyes. Damn, she wants that vengeance hardcore chat. I understand, but I have something more important for you to do. Take this. But this is your dagger. Why are you giving you, me your most prized possession? Well, I guess he's planning to die. It is magically linked to me. If you have it, you can communicate with me. Please go back to town with the dagger. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not leaving you. I know, I know you want to stay with us here. But you need to be with Arcea. Okay, so we just had a magical walkie-talkie dagger. Got it. Oh, so Arcea knows when to recite the lifting verse. Why didn't you say so before? Now hurry, Laramie. Gandor, the moving platform isn't working. They must have cut the power. Security is very tight. What can we do? Intruders in Zone Z. Activate thermal control fields in Zones X, Y, and Z. What's this? Why is it getting so cold? They must be trying to freeze us to death. Laramie better get out of here quickly. Get her back to the elevator now. But there's no power. I have an idea how I can fix that, so go. Okay. so cold. Let's take you back to the elevator. But I don't think that it's working. Gandor says he can fix it for us. We should listen to him. All right. But you be careful and help Gandor get out too. Yeah, I have a feeling Gandor is not coming back from this one chat. Let's just say rip Gandor. He already gave up his prized possession, etc. It's over for him for sure. The power supply to the door is still active. But I can't leave here yet. Oh. Oh, I was straight up going to leave. I'm not going to lie. Gandor, I took Laramie back to the elevator. Good. Eon, tell me why you're doing all this for us. I don't really know Gandor. It was kind of thrust upon us as we were sleeping in bed one day and decided to make tea. 
What do you mean? Why are you asking this now? Please, just tell me the truth. It's just that Valos always taught me to be helpful. And he'd almost seem to be preparing me for this day. Hmm. Think I could trust your integrity. I'm sorry, but I thought you might have been an enemy. Thought that perhaps you were trying to overthrow the wizardry so you could rule. I thought that you were the Ma'o. Oh, oh, Ma'o looks like us. Oh, it's oh. So if we're doing Illusion of Gaia logic, we might be like the Light Warrior, and Ma'o is the Dark Warrior. Maybe that's what he meant by he saw us before. I mean, the game still isn't telling us this, but maybe that's why he was confused. Now I'll help you complete this final mission. Zeroist once told me that electricity could pass through the human... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? I, I almost didn't... Hold on, let me try this again. Then we're gonna question the dialogue he's telling us here, chat. Gandor says, and I quote, Zeroist once told me that electricity could pass through the human body. Is he gonna become a live conduit? Or are we gonna have his crispy Gandor? Now we'll see if it's true. This will turn on the elevator and access the con central control. Now get up on the moving platform. This is crazy. You'll be killed. There's no other way. Laramie needs to be able to get back to tell Arcea when to recite the lifting verse. And you're the only one who could possibly bring down the Imperial Wizardry. If only I just gave her the dagger from the start, then none of this would have been needed and I could have just gone with you. But... You have to accept this. It's my fate. I feel terrible. Don't worry. I'll hold out until you destroy the power core. I'll make sure Laramie will know the time. You may have been my enemy in a past life. Now we are working together as partners. Alrighty, on, let's do it. Crispy Fi Grant Gandor with a side of herbs. I was gonna say he's gonna have like the 11 secret herbs and spices on him. One of them's apparently electricity. Here goes. There we go, chat. Eon, follow your destiny. Rip, rip Gandor, I guess. Laramie took shelter inside the elevator. Oh, I just realized, Chad, now that Corky's gone, we can't use the Venetawa fruits. So I never used them in our gameplay. Oops. I could have sold those for money. Oh, well. Gandor, what is he trying to do? The elevator's power is still off. The power is on. Oh no, maybe the dagger. Oh. That fool, what has he done? <laughs> Is he gonna be, ah, I'm being fried, ah. Like, how does this work exactly? Because he isn't, isn't he the one that can communicate with the dagger, but he's frying himself to death? How is this working? Whatever, mysterious powers overcome your body. You gained a level. Okay, we got a tiny bit more. Alright, this feels like straight up boss territory. I feel confident we have enough healing items, so I don't feel like we'll soft block ourselves here by making an unwinnable boss battle. So rip Corky. Could have used your healing earlier. We have three LPs. I have a lot of MP restores. I could try the grand stream on the boss. And then maybe refill with a rare potion or so. So I don't want to fight the sorcerer. Even though he gives me MP, the fact that he could steal MP just kind of wastes our time. I might kill you real quick in case you drop an item and then we'll presumably just go right to the boss afterwards. What was it? Gold is Zephyr or whatever his name was. Wow, what a jerk. So he stops me from running at him, which breaks guard normally.
Wow, they just interrupt my attack constantly. That's so sad. Oh, yeah, that kind of works. I guess if I go back far enough, I can exploit the AI projectile. I guess that kind of works. Because otherwise, we're going to be like in an infinite guard war with this enemy, which is very tedious. He seems to at least put enough delay between his projectiles that this works. Also, I don't need to go that far back. So if I react to his projectile, I can kill him. But that works. So going up close is kind of a lose-lose for us. But if we bait the projectile, I guess he's not too bad. Up close, he's horrible. Alright, let's see what this boss is all about. Who dares to enter my realm without my permission? What do you want? Are you the Ma'o? No, unfortunately I'm not. I'm Golda Zephyr. I command the Imperial Wizardry. We're taking over this pathetic world. What? But you can't... Well, why should you and your soldiers be the ones who have all the power? Because everyone else has no purpose but to serve. They need a strong leader to make them prosperous. Besides, they are limited without the use of magic. I plan to create a new world. Order with powerful magical weapons and fierce sorcerers. But how will you keep the lands from sinking? With the magic of heirloom. Enough with the questions. Oh, is he sitting in like one of those egg chairs? Okay. He is a lot of health. Oh. Golda's effort looks a little weird. Cool. So he has nothing but unblockable attacks? Is that what's happening? Alright, hold on. What if we do this? Curiosity. He can interrupt it. Okay, so that drains a health bar. But that costs so much resource. It's kind of not worth it, to be honest. It's strong, but 300 MP is a lot. We'll go back to just healing magic. I think that's more cost effective. Wow, that is... kind of insane. Wow, we only get like two strikes before we can hit him again. That also kind of sucks. Cool. Oh, I could have blocked that, I think. Man. I mean, at least I'm kind of figuring something out. I'm kind of learning. Alright, I think I've established a pattern. Damn, we're not going to spend more MP if we don't need it. Thank you, run attack. This fight would be so unbearable without it. Also, could you imagine if you didn't know how to run attack to stun him like that? It would be so BS. Alright, so this boss is easy enough. I just gotta dodge the initial strike and we're fine. So sadly, we did sacrifice a lot of MP to the gods, but hey. We still have a lot of MP- oh, I got a block. I thought that was his getting damage animation at first, and I'm like, wait a minute, it doesn't blink when that happens. Oh, why am I blocking? So we'll use the thing to restore MP a little bit, because I need- I'm gonna use it eventually anyway. Wait, did that- Did that hit me even though I was blocking? Oh, that was interesting. It knocked me into an insta-kill? I think it did. That's kind of silly. 
Uh, I think we've... Uh, the fact that I'm angled to him slightly is actually kind of annoying. Let me try to reset it here. So we have a very established pattern, at least. I'm going to use my safety heal here now. I'm going to use this one, I think. There's sort of most of our M... Okay amount of MP. All right, that was worth mashing to get that extra hit. All right, so this boss is much easier than the other one. It's just very punishing when it hits you. And in my defense, every attack is unblockable except I think one. So I just either got to dodge it or just take it in the face, I guess. Oh, oops. I thought he was using the close range attack. My bad. Oh well, this is why we have healing items. Also, could you imagine coming here with no healing items? This boss fight would be monstrous. I could not imagine trying to do this without a single healing item. Because there's just going to be like any mistake. You basically can make 10 mistakes and it's over. Kind of not great. Given how often he can hit you. Like that. Could have been hit there. Yeah, this backdash is working wonders. I'm so glad we experimented with run early in the game. Because the game doesn't really, like, outright tell us about run either, by the way. Just something that just kind of happened in, like, the second or third session. Where I'm like, wait a minute, I could just run into them. I'm gonna back up slightly to dodge that. Block. Oh, didn't block, but that wasn't an insta-kill, so we're fun. Okay, back up. Oh, didn't back up fast enough. Block again. Aw, oh, I hesitated, so I got damaged. We're almost done with him, at least. I'm okay with using another lifestone. There we go, we got a nice rhythm going. I'm gonna get hit there. I jinxed it. It's like I'm backdashing, but I can't backdash fast enough. So we'll just tank it. When it comes down to that. There we go. Backdash time for sure. Backdash time again. I honestly thought the boss before it was much more annoying. It's just the only difference between this boss and the other boss is this boss just does more damage. But his pattern was much easier to figure out. GG. So we used one healing item. Still an okay amount of MP for casual exploration. GG. You defeated Golda Zephyr. I did it! Golda Zephyr is dead! Now I just hope that Arcea will recite the lifting verse in time. My mission is complete, but I can't escape from here. Gandor, you shall not die alone. Goodbye, Arcea and Laramie. Goodbye. Wow, we just straight up gave up, chat. <laughs> we're like, yeah, we're going down with the ship. Now loading. What was that? Oh no! Gandor's dagger. It's broken. He sacrificed his life for our mission. Well, that dagger was pointless. The dagger fell to the floor. Gandor! You don't deserve such a horrible fate. It's not fair. We can't let his sacrifice be in vain. Arcea, recite the lifting verse. Well, good thing he didn't die while we were fighting the other boss. That would have been bad. 
But Eon isn't back yet. Arcia, listen to me. If you don't do it now, there won't be a chance for any of us. We have to believe in Eon and make certain that this mission is successful. You're right. We have to do it for Gandor. Mother Earth, with all your power, help us in this final hour to lift this land high in the sky so the people shall not die. Flowers, grasses, birds, and trees, listen to our urgent pleas. So when the morrow comes at last, many more shall come to pass. Mountains, valleys, lakes, and streams, places found in childhood dreams. Give these people one more chance to better human circumstance. It's a crappy verse. <laughs> Tell them to get a new poet. <laughs> There we go, chat. She's crying this time. Get back to town. All right, I'm sure Eon will return soon. That is a lot of faith that we got out of their chat. That is a lot of faith. You are a noble warrior and a deserving hero. Without you, my daughter would have never found the four lifting verses. Thank you. Goodbye, Zora. Hello, Manoa. You were able to save both my son and wife, Selina. Selina, you are not only brave, but you're also generous. Thank you. Wiseman Gold, now you must face your final mission. It will give you it will give the world a chance at complete restoration. Heirloom is waiting. Good luck. Wiseman Lazelle with the questionable wig says, Now listen carefully. You must take Heirloom to the North Pole and then submerge him into the sea. Are we going to kill Erlim as well? Jeez, chat, is there a single character that's going to survive at this rate? It's going to be uh, poor, poor Laramie and Arcea by themselves. And I'm not entirely convinced Arcea will make it to the end either, to be honest. The energy within Erlim will cause the water around him to freeze into glaciers. The water level around the earth will drop and reveal the land underneath. Sacrifice everyone, exactly. Eventually, man can try to rebuild their kingdoms without the mistakes of the past. The spirit beast, Karak, will give you guidance. Alundra level of NPC death. We'll be playing that eventually. We're waiting for Halloween, though. Now you truly hold the fate of the world in your hands. We have chosen you wisely, and you have not failed us. Did you choose us wisely, though? <laughs> You're called wise men, but you're kind of dumb. Why Why split the verses up so much and then you had people that didn't even know them? This seems like a really big inconvenience. But anyway, I guess it's all really good that we've somehow had flight between the continents, or else this mission would have failed immediately. Huh? Am I alive? Oh, we got Deus Ex Machina away. Nice. <laughs> I, I guess they teleported us, question mark. I see that the wise men helped you to return. That is a very judging looking bird face. Zephyr is floating, and the Imperial Wizardry's base is completely destroyed. Good work. Do I have to go with Erlim on his final mission? Yes, Sihan. The Master of Erlim must accompany him to his end. Oh. We are going to kamikaze Erlim into the North Pole, or whatever they just mentioned, and die. Yay! We did it! <laughs> We're gonna die! This means it will be my end, too. I'm sorry, but that is what must be done. I understand. Wow, we we are really accepting of that real quick. No complaints, no questions. Is there another way it could be done? Can Erlim be saved? No, no, no. I understand. Well, okay. 
You are a brave warrior. Defeating Gold of Zephyr must have been very difficult. Not really, to be honest with you. I used a little bit of MP, but that boss was not the hardest boss that we fought, to be real with you. We fought way more tedious and annoying bosses, for sure. Yeah, I had a lot of help from the Scepter. More specifically, like, two healing items. Now I guess I need to go with Heirloom to be sunk into the North Pole. <laughs> wow, he said that so matter-of-fact. So was like, that caught me off guard again, Chad. He's just like, guess I gotta die, <laughs> right? Like, just, okay. <laughs> That's right. But first, I think you should say goodbye to your friends. You should explain to them what needs to be done and that you cannot return to them. That will be hard. When you are ready, go to Erlim. The destination has already been set. Uh, well, we still have a... Okay, let's do an item check. We can no longer heal with the Fruit of Enetawa, but I have seven random heals, two MP heals, 300 MP times two, so we have 600 MP, potentially even more, because Life Element's stronger than Life Stone, so this might be a 600 or a 999 MP. We have a whole bunch of stuff here. So if the final boss is damageable by magic, I might just go on a magic spam to beat it. Although, it would be worth at least learning the pattern of the boss for those looking to beat it on their own, and they happen to have not have grinded. I'm mostly just looking for a save point. There is a save point in here, right? Or am I hallucinating? Eon, is that really you? Sorry if I made you worry. I'm sorry for all this trouble. Oh, maybe it was the southern building. Actually, I think I went to the wrong building. Because there was like the merchant in one, but I thought there was a save room there. Or maybe there's not. I guess we'll find out. Now that you've returned and we've lifted the lands, then we then we will all be safe and secure, right? <laughs> uh, we nodded our heads. Thank you again, Eon, for everything. But Eon, why do you look concerned? I like how none of us are facing the right direction, by the way. She's looking in the southwest. I'm looking in the northeast. <laughs> Just oops. Broke that cutscene direction. We shake our heads at each other without addressing each other. Welcome to our church. How can I help you? Oh. Maybe you moved? Let's save here for now. Okay, chat. So sadly... Our time is at an end for today's session, so we'll probably beat the game for sure next session, given that they're talking about the final mission. So I might need to prepare something for afterwards. But let's chat. Oops. <laughs> you can see my notes briefly. But anyway, from that standpoint... Uh, I guess we're at the end of the game. We have maybe a final dungeon, maybe a couple more uh, bosses in between. It, it could be a really short dungeon. It could be really long. I'm not really sure what to expect. So imagine that we're, we have to fight Ma'o. Let's be real. They didn't mention it, but we're definitely fighting Ma'o. So depending on how f hard that fight is, it will either be a nice and quick session or it will be pain and suffering. Because remember, chat, sometimes... Sometimes uh, suffering is worse than death, according to the game. <laughs> so we'll see how brutal this final boss is, plural, because presumably there's more than one phase, more than one boss is. But overall, chat, I think from the standpoint of the story, we, we accepted death real quick. Gandor is gone. The guy we thought was dead already, whose name I already forgot, is dead again. So nothing really changed with that one, because I assumed literally everybody on the crew was dead already. So he was there just to tell us, like, two lines and die, I guess. Also, we haven't fought Slazer at all. So maybe Slazer's another boss to expect coming up? We never really dealt with him. Or at least he didn't, like, sacrifice himself for us to get our mission done or anything. So who knows? You know, there's still potential for quite a few bosses before the end. Let alone, like, random mini-bosses or whatever. So who knows? We'll find out, I guess. But sadly, today is, uh, I'm going about as far as I can today. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again next time.